Three, two, one. SpaceX launched four astronauts into orbit on Sunday, marking a major milestone for NASA. It was their first full-fledged mission on board a privately owned spacecraft. And resilience rises. Not even gravity contains humanity when we explore as one for all. The resilience is SpaceX's newly designed Crew Dragon capsule. It blasted off atop the company's Falcon 9 rocket from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. A big win for billionaire Elon Musk, who founded the company. Astronaut Commander Mike Hopkins described the launch as, quote, one heck of a ride. The crew headed to the International Space Station, some 250 miles or 400 kilometers above Earth, a 27-hour trip. Ahead of liftoff, the astronauts fitted in their custom white suits, driven out to the launch pad in SUVs made by Tesla, another of Musk's companies. The other NASA crew included Victor Glover, reportedly the first black astronaut to live aboard the orbiting laboratory, and physicist Shannon Walker. Japanese astronaut Soichi Noguchi was also on board on his third trip to space. Sunday's launch puts NASA back in the ring nine years after ending its space shuttle program and signals a new era of cooperation with private companies. But SpaceX's Elon Musk was not there to watch the successful liftoff. Just two days earlier, he said he, quote, most likely had a moderate case of COVID-19. SpaceX and NASA have conducted contact tracing and determined Musk had not come into contact with anyone who interacted with the astronauts. The mission is expected to last about six months.